Hello my darlings, welcome to the session. In the previous video I talked about the identification process and I mentioned bad examples of the identification process and by bad examples I mean detrimental for the self. Now, I did not mention the examples, the detrimental examples of identification which involve the place you were born. It, this is this is major nowadays and it's not just nowadays it's this happened since long ago in human history this is one of the most dividing types of identification the the identification with the place you were born so many people they identify with the idea, the false idea of a nation. And remember, historically, the idea of nation has been introduced to the human mentality only to further enslave it, only to further divide humans, to further turn them one against another. The idea of countries, of city which are like cities which are like countries you know on the like the type of ancient greek cities were like you hear so many people saying they are american they are canadian they are british they are well they are with british this is one of the best examples they are like no english no scottish no it's, who the fuck cares? You're incarnate as a human. Again, this is another thing about the identification process. You're not a human. You're incarnate as a human. You're not supposed to live all your existence as a human. This is the whole thing about this type of incarnation, transcending it. The Earth School of Existence is one of the hardest schools because of its density. But the reason for coming incarnate is so that you transcend. Many souls can't evolve their consciousness other than by coming incarnate, it's sad. In the first ages of existence, the major souls, many would call them oversouls, with God being the oversoul. The oversouls, the major souls, the first souls of existence, they needed, needed not come incarnate, they they were simply created, already perfect, because they were created in the image of God-Goddess. God-Goddess is already perfect. Now, there's a whole story about why and how it is that at this point, at this level of existence, there is the case of incarnation. It's a whole topic, why is incarnation needed? I don't want to go into this topic because it, uh, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but you see it, okay? Many being incarnate, souls being incarnate. We ourselves are incarnate at this level in order to help those who are stuck at this level. And this is the thing, saying you're human keeps you stuck at this level. You're not human, you're incarnate as a human. Even most of you who are starseeds, I saw many, many starseed souls in their videos saying that we're human now. No, you're not human. You're incarnate as human. And indeed, there are souls starting their existence as seated, 
for the collective consciousness of either humans, the, the species of the species who populate this planet, either Arcturians, either Pleiadians, either Syrians, Orions. For those of you who do not know, I am mentioning star seeds at this point, meaning souls who were seeded to come incarnate first at other on other planets in this galaxy and it's not just this galaxy but the way you are seated as a soul does not mean you're meant to stay at that level you're meant to continue your evolution and you will come incarnate for a number of cycles of incarnations pay attention i'm not saying a number of incarnations i'm saying a number of cycles of incarnations Yes. <laughs> For a number of cycles of incarnations, you're meant to come incarnate at the level, at the anthropomorphic level. Anthropomorphic means two legs, two hands, or more hands, or more legs. But this kind of human-like incarnation. Obviously, there have been souls starting their journey as this is it's a lot there are souls starting their journey as minerals plants animals and then they come incarnate at the anthropomorphic level whether it is humans or other anthropomorphic species on another planet and there are souls who are created from the first like in the first place for the anthropomorphic type of incarnation it all depends, it varies. But this is what I'm telling you, you're not supposed to stay stuck at one type of incarnation. In fact, your whole evolution is meant to bring you entirely back to the non-physical. You will come incarnate at various levels of incarnation, starting with, as I said, Species on a planet, then a planet, then a sun, then, and when I say a sun, it's also a sun and the full consciousness of a solar system, then a group of stars, suns, which is a constellation, then a galaxy, and from a galaxy, less and less physical. This is the thing. You are meant to come back to the non-physical. <sighs> so any kind of identification continues to keep you stuck at this level. I'm not even mentioning the fact... I'm not... Not anymore. I'm not even mentioning anymore the fact that it makes humans be divided this type of identification with the place you're born in, the region you're born in, or the city you're born in, or the country you're born in. It makes people be divided. That was the whole purpose of it. That's why the manipulating beings wanted it and, and pushed for it so that humans would integrate it into their mentality. What does that do? Oh, someone identifies with the city they are born. Therefore, they will compete with people from other cities. Someone identifies with the region they are born. They will divide themselves, distinguish themselves from people born in other regions. And this is the thing humans hate most hate why do they hate because of because of how they were manipulated and the external reasons for that hatred the true reasons for that hatred is the true reason for that hatred is the fact that internally they are empty they have no love for themselves first of all and that hatred which they have inside they project it outside as well And outside, 
throughout history, they've been giving so many false targets for that hatred. Regional identity being one of those targets. As I said, either you identify with a city, with a region, with a country, with a continent you were born in. Sexual identities, ethnic identities, any kind of false identity is a target of human hatred. It's, it's for good reason. The reason being to keep humans stuck. Now, even when you don't identify with that, consciously, the identification process with that still occurs subconsciously because of the way language happens. Because language expresses identity when you want to tell someone where you were born. This people is American. This people. These people are American. These people are French. These people are Indian. These people are... You name it. So many countries. No, they are not that. That's only what they falsely identify with. They are not that. But then again, the question is, as long as they identify with that, probably they are. But it's a false identity. It's a target for hatred and it is something to keep your sight externally, to keep you away from looking inside. Because inside, what you will find inside of yourself is you're not American, you're not African, you're not European, you're not Asian, you're a soul, as I said. It is important that we destroy all these false identities at the language level. Because as I said, even though consciously you acknowledge the fact that you do not identify with this false thing of this mental construct of an identity coming from the place you were born, Subconsciously, that still happens because of the language that humans use. I am, insert nationality here. No, you're not a nationality. I advise all of you, again, it's just an advice. I advise you to start saying, phrasing things as, I was born there, where I was born. I grew up there, where I grew up. And instead of saying Americans, I, I, I say Americans first of all because I, I saw so many nationalists, American nationalists. <laughs> but it's not only there, there are nationalists everywhere. Instead of saying, as I said, American, French, English, German, blah, 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 blah. People born there, people living there, people living in. Let's start consciously putting it in the language that the place you're born in does not give you an identity. I keep repeating this. The language you use wires your brain in such a way and your subconscious in such a way that it's, it's very powerful. 
and I repeat it. Even though you consciously may not think something, you will subconsciously have it there as long as language phrases it like that. So yes, it is time to remodel our language. And when I say our language, I mean our language at the human level collectively, regardless of language as per English or Spanish or Hindi or whatever language. It's in the way words express something. <laughs> because language is a powerful tool of manipulation and it's something that is not so looked at. Let's start being powerfully conscious of everything. I love you. Keep evolving. Tremendous love.